Our latest exploration took us to the small town of Caledon, BC, sitting on the shores of Skaha Lake, one hour from Kelowna, BC. Here sits the historic Caledon Hotel, a hotel that was built in the early 1900s and has remained empty since World War I. Keep watching as we explore more of its neat history. The Caledon Hotel, which sits on the shores of Skaha Lake, was built by Jim Ritchie. He saw an opportunity to make the community a service centre for the mines that were scattered along the 49th parallel at the time. The construction of the hotel offered an amazing challenge to the crew. The cement for the shell of the hotel was hand mixed on site and it was pushed in wheelbarrows along rather fragile looking scaffolding which encircled the entire building. Caledon Hotel was built in 1911 as one of the cornerstone buildings in the BC interior. It was one of the first buildings in the area to feature electric light, running water, private sleeping porches and exclusive dining rooms. The building even had its own power plant and used a water driven generator to power the building. The long forgotten large hotel gardens produced both flowers and vegetables. You may still find wild asparagus growing in sheltered spots along the roadside. A lasting reminder of the asparagus plants from the gardens. There were two dining rooms. One was a very formal one for travelers and a very casual one for the men that worked around the uh, orchards and were building the homes at the time. The Caledon General Store was built at the same time as the hotel. They built it right across the street and it still stands today and is still occupied by local business owners. The hotel opened for business in 1912. It is unknown when it closed, but is believed to be during World War I. The hotel sat empty until the early 1940s when it was purchased by Penticton businessman Charles Oliver. Charles Oliver dismantled the interior of the hotel, selling flooring, plumbing fixtures, and other materials. Charles wanted to dynamite the outer shell, but Jim Goodwin, who lived in the store across the street, was worried that the blast would damage his building. So Charles was glad to sell it to Jim for $1, which would free him from any liability claims. Ownership of the hotel changed hands to Jim Robertson and Fred King. In 1982, Fred King sold the hotel to the regional district of the Okanagan Similkameen. The hotel remains were declared a historical site in 1988, where it still stands and is now the Caledon Hotel Regional Park. 